Now, Luis Miguel Echegaray is joining us now as we look ahead to that final. We've got Nadam and Shaka still with us. Craig, what a waste of two years it seems then for Messi at PSG. Well, you can throw everybody else's name in there as well, can't you? Throw Verratti's name in. Throw Neymar's name in. Been a bit of a waste of time for Kelly and Mbappe as well, hasn't it, really? Because he should have left last year and went to Real Madrid and he's found himself in, a, in another circus that's playing out as we speak. But, yeah, I mean... He's in Miami, he's happy, clearly not seeing the Farmington Valley here in Connecticut, as he, but you know, <laughs> beggars can't be choosers. But he, he, he's happy and he's enjoying his football and he's finding it quite easy, to be fair, uh, because he's a cut above even the best defenders in the world during his, during his peak years and he still looks fit. And so he's making mincemeat of some of these guys, to be quite frank with you. So, yeah, and, and it's a new experience for him and his family and different country and, you know, different league. And, yeah, he seems happy. And he just, he just seems to be another player that's gone into PSG, whether he wanted to leave Bass or not, and found out that it was what we've been saying it is for years now. A gigantic circus that is a bit of a joke. And he clearly didn't enjoy his football. Nadam, let me just come to you about Messi in MLS because there are some who aren't surprised at all and some who are surprised with just how amazing his start has wait, wait, been wait, wait, to wait, like wait, here. surprised? Some people are <laughs> saying that they're surprised. Dan had this argument the other day. Dan said to me, oh, I said to Dan, well, it's no surprise on Wednesday. And he went, well, it is. And I went, are you wired to the moon or what? Is that a surprise? I agree with you, Craig, but I'm interested to know what Nadam thinks. OK, so what I would say, I think as you listen to his interview there, you can see that his time in Paris wasn't an enjoyable one from him. And I think we saw signs there which made us think that, you know, he's not he wasn't necessarily mailing in as such, but it wasn't the same spark that he had from when he was younger. But now that he seems to be settled, this is Messi with maximum effort, enjoying his celebrations, enjoying his team. And when he's like that, you know, I'll save the stress of everybody saying, oh, it's a, a, a Messi bias. Messi's my favourite player of all time literally my favorite and it's because of the fact that he sees a different game to everyone else on the planet so when he goes to mls and he's enjoying himself he's enjoying his football th has there ever been anyone better i think given the fact they've brought in reinforcements and the way that he sees the game like you know respectfully mls isn't one of the top leagues in the world right now you know it might it might get there it might not do i'm not sure but when the one of the greatest players that's ever played the game steps on the field and is very intent on helping his side go through, go and win these games and get to finals. I think it's kind of inevitable that he'll play in this manner. Whether or not he can keep up the scoring rate, I'm not sure. But his impact is definitely going to be there because I don't know if there are many messy stoppers in MLS at this moment in time. And in fact, there haven't been many for the last 15, 20 years. I'll help, I'll help you out there, Ned. I mean, it was, this is factual. This is not me. This is not me. I'm not besmirching. It was voted the 29th best league in the world. All right. So I'm just leaving it out there. All right. Don't shoot the messenger. I won't, I won't, but I'm sure everybody else will. So let me talk to a man who's followed him all the way since he came to these shows in LME, rubbed shoulders with him as well in a one-on-one -on -one interview yesterday. How long do you think this buzz is going to go on, LME? I have no idea. Okay, Mari, I think it's going to continue and continue and continue and continue. To Nadam's point, like, this is the greatest player to me, arguably the greatest player that's ever lived. And, you know, we can talk about MLS all we want. We can talk about the competition that he's facing all we want, nine goals in six matches and the fact that he's in Miami, the Latin American capital of the world, hence his happiness. But, you know, this is Lionel Messi. He's done it to Charlotte FC. He's done it to Atletico Madrid. He's done it at Champions League finals to Manchester United. He's done it to Gavardio, who now plays for Manchester City in the World Cup semi-final. So, you know, I just think that this flair, this magic, this fire that Lionel Messi keeps bringing is going to continue. It, to me, the one obstacle, I think, is, and because, you know, this team is now stronger, right? Sergio Busquets, Jordi Alba, Tata Martino has done a tremendous job on making these players feel confident as well as Messi. Benjamin Cremashi, a 19-year-old American-Argentinian, was playing in the youth system for Inter Miami. Now he's Lionel Messi's right-hand man. So everybody's just like really living up to expectations. But to me, back to the obstacle, is what I see happening as the months get tougher and the weeks get tougher. September, for example, he has to play away at LAFC on September 3rd. And then a day later, he has to travel to Argentina for World Cup qualifiers, meaning that in that window, he has to play in La Paz, Bolivia, in that altitude. And then he comes back to play Atlanta United. So I worry about the 36-year-old Lionel Messi. That's my only thing. 
But aside from that, the magic, the goals, et cetera, et cetera, that's going to continue as long as he remains healthy and Tata Martino knows how to balance that. As long as he doesn't find a really good local burger bar. Oh, he's going to get all the food and he then, wants you know, in yeah, Miami. Yeah, he, he doesn't need to go out with burger bar. He just decides that, oh, jeez, I like, I love... Oh, I just make great burgers down there. I'm just, and, he, and he starts piling a few pounds on, and he loses the desire. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of tongue in cheek, but I'm not. I'm not. It's the only, it's the only, uh, the only way that I can see, apart from the travel, is that if he loses that desire to continue, but with his fitness and his sharpness. But I suppose if he's still playing for the national team, which he is, and he hasn't hung his boots up yet, there is that caveat that he needs to stay sharp for the national team. If he was to hang his boots up with the national team and it was only Major League Soccer that was in his sort of periphery, then that could become a potential issue for his, you know, desire to go and be better and better. But I suppose with the national team looming in the background, it's going to be super important for him to stay fit because only a lack of fitness is going to stop Lionel Messi doing really what he's doing to these players. It is incredible, Shaka, to just still see this hunger from him at the age he is with everything he's already achieved. Yeah, I, I think that is the, is the most surprising aspect of, of Lionel Messi's performances. How, how kind of, um, you use the word hunger, he's been animated, he's been standing up for his teammates. His, his performances haven't, haven't surprised me how much, how much he stood out, how good he's been. That, that hasn't been, been the surprise at all, given, you know, given, given the, the talent that, that he is. The surprise is exactly how he's just kind of slotted in and, and in, into the league and, and, and kind of showing some, some of the angry side that I, you saw, at, at the very least, uh, dur during the World Cup. I mean, his, 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 his um, appearances in, in Major League Soccer have, have been transformational. I, I've said all along for, for many a year, even over the hill strikers coming from Europe have... have have been able to, to, to produce incredible performances in, in Major League Soccer. It's been an easier league for strikers to slot into. So you have a, what, 34-year-old Lionel Messi coming in, given the, the, his powers and, and how much they still remain, um, to, to see him dominate the way he, he, he has is, is, is not at all surprising. To see the likes of Sergio Busquets and, and Jordi Alba have the impacts that they have, I, that, that caught me a little bit, a little bit more off guard, so I, I have to I admit. But right now, um, everybody's loving everything that, that Lionel Messi has, has, has shown and, and how he continues to, to highlight, highlight this league. Nadem? Yeah, I was just going to say in regards to that, it's, having played in MLS, it's so important that the people who have the highest profile, you know, get paid the most, who are brought in to sort of be spokespeople for the league. If they look like they're enjoying it and they really get involved, it's such a big boost for the players, for the fans, for the way the league looks itself. And I think there have been people in the past who haven't been like that. People sort of look, turn their nose up at, at it, basically, you know, in the same way that Messi is so far clear of the vast majority of players in the league. Other players will come in and say that, but for Messi, he's trying to elevate his own team. He's trying to make his team as good as they can be. He's showing that he loves the city. He's enjoying playing football, scoring goals with the celebrations. And we can see how much of an impact that can have. And I think that's failed a few times before, but it seems like this is the real deal for this league. Set the scene for us then, LME. How many Inter Miami fans are we seeing in Nashville? How many Argentina fans? Is there a buzz around this final in terms of Messi there? Absolutely. I arrived this morning, Kay. My Uber driver picked me up, a young kid that grew up in Nashville, Tennessee, and he said, listen, I've never followed this game. I'm a huge Tennessee Titans fan. I'm more about the NFL. But now this game, this final, Messi's arrival is just buzzing. He was telling me how uh, in the semifinal against Monterrey, there were already people wearing Messi shirts in that game. And they were like, we haven't even won yet. Why are you wearing Messi shirts? Like, we haven't even welcomed him yet. So the buzz is here. Inter Miami and Nashville should expect about about 30,000 plus at this stadium, which, by the way, is beautiful. One of the best I've seen in MLS. And because of the numbers and, you know, the average price of a ticket going close to $400, I've seen prices to 10000 even regarding this final. Uh, Jorge Mas and the owners of Inter Miami have actually paid for the supporters groups of Inter Miami to come and the families of the players as well to come to this game. So the buzz is here. It's all getting generated. And I think it's just the perfect way 
to conclude the League's Cup, which obviously comes with some complexities and some obstacles and some nagging from Mexican teams because they were never able to host a game and the traveling back and forth. But you have Inter Miami, Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets, Jordi Alba, and this team and the Miami vibes, right, that Latin American capital city of the world against Nashville, who is basically the complete opposite. The best team defensively in the league. Pretty boring, really, when it comes to how they play. And they both entered the league in the same time, 2020. So it's really this perfect ending to this league Scott final. Make no mistake about it, though. Gary Smith, the English manager for Nashville, who won, by the way, MLS Cup with Colorado Rapids uh, 13 years ago, he was in the press conference and he said, listen, we know what Messi can do, but we're ready to give Messi something that he hasn't been given yet since his arrival. But that's another irony because... I talked to Lionel Messi yesterday. He looked calm. He looked happy. He well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.